Hi all of you, welcome back to Ramaradi Maths Academy. In this video, we are discussing rank of a matrix. Okay, before going to discuss the rank, first you need to know two points. One is the zero row and what is the non-zero row, first of all. Okay, first what is our rank? I'll tell one by one. First, suppose you can consider one egg, uh, one matrix, one, two, three, zero, one, zero, 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 zero. Okay, in this matrix, what is the zero row and what is the non-zero row means if every element of that row should be zero, that is a zero row. If anything is finite or one or any one element in that row is finite, that is a non-zero row, right? You need to remember these two points first of all. Then it is very easy to find or identify the rank. Okay, first rank means what? Number of non-zero rows in that matrix means after performing some operations, the remaining the resulting matrix having some number of non-zero rows is called the rank of the matrix. What is the rank here? Rank is nothing but number of non-zero rows number of non-zero rows for example in this matrix how many number of non-zero rows first of all before identify to non-zero rows first check whether how many number of zero rows is there now i'm having only one number of no zero row okay just neglect the zero row what is the remaining non-zero rows this is non-zero row why because this is one and this is also non-zero row in this matrix i'm having two non-zero rows therefore the rank of the given matrix it is denoted like this rank of a if you consider this is a rank of this matrix is two yes is it clear rank means number of non-zero rows actually in generally we have three types of uh, methods to find the rank one is the echelon form and another one is the normal form and the last one is the paq normal form in this first two are very most important i'll tell one by one okay if you want more videos see the description i'll give i already given the playlist link okay see in that first method is echelon form see echelon form echelon form okay or echelon form see before going to discuss the echelon form i'll tell the working rule first of all how to remember or how to use the operations okay means first before discussing this echelon form you must revise your means uh, what is upper triangular you need to identify whether it is upper triangular or lower triangular right why because in echelon form we are using only the rows operations this is the first condition what is our first condition apply the rows operation on the given matrix and the next point is convert into upper triangular matrix upper triangular matrix then automatically you will get the rank of the matrix what is our working rule in echelon form you have to use only the rows operations first condition and after that convert into upper triangular matrix then the remaining non-zero rows is called the rank of the matrix right okay madam what is upper triangular first of all upper triangular means you see consider this matrix 1 4 7 6 9 0 11 12 9 see in this matrix upper triangular means see what is the diagonal elements what are the diagonals here this is the diagonal elements right below the principal diagonals if the below the principal diagonals are zeros that is the upper triangular means after doing some operations this matrix converted like this see after doing rows operation one seven zero something zero one zero and zero 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 see 
after doing some operation just let us assume that this is the diagonal element see all the diagonal means below the principal diagonals are zero means it forms an upper triangular matrix means then stop the method then how to write the rank of this matrix how many number of non zero rows this is one non zero row and this is also another non zero row therefore the rank of a is what two like this you can write the rank and i'll give one short method for rank also for competitive exams and short bit also i'll tell one by one first we'll do the rows operations to find the echelon form first okay then I'll tell how to uh, by using the determinant how we are going to calculate the rank. Okay, just note down. See, consider this matrix. See, what is the given matrix here? 1, 2, 3. They are asking find the rank using echelon form. Using echelon form. Okay. If you want to use the only echelon form means what is our working rule? First, remember that points. First, you have to use only rows operations. Okay, means in the rows, in the echelon form, rows operations are allowed. And the second condition is reduce that matrix into upper triangular matrix. Then automatically you will get the rank. First, check it using the rows operations. And lastly, I'll tell how to find the rank by short method. Within a minute, uh, I'll tell the solution also. Just see the video. First, find the rank. Right here, what is our condition? First, check. This is blindly check first row first element it should be one then it is very easy okay if the first element is one then automatically remaining elements will become to zero that is normal our own assumption the thing is if it is one then automatically these two elements will become to zero while using the rows operations i'll tell okay what is our condition use the rows operations first See, what is our first row? 1, 2, 3. We need to convert the below the principal diagonals. It should become to 0, right? For that, I'll do first operation is if you uh, subtract 2 minus 2, then automatically this element will become to 0. 3 minus 3, this is also 0. For that, what, what are the operations we have to perform? R2 implies R2 minus, this is 2, right? Then 2 minus 2 will become to 0. For that, 2 into R1, right? Like this. And what about the oh, second operation? R3 implies R3 is 3. Then 3 into R1. Why? Because 3 minus 3 ones are 3. This will become to 0. Okay. For that, do this operation. Come on first row as it is why because there is no operations on the first row one two three as it is using this row convert r2 and r3 what is our r2 elements here two right r r2 is what two minus two into r1 this will become to zero then next r2 is what four 2 into R1. What is our R1 corresponding element? 2. 4 minus 4. This is also 0. Done. Then what about this? 7 minus 2 into R1. This will become 2. 1. Done. Then the next one is 3 minus R3 minus 3 R1. What is our R3 first element? 3 minus 3 into R1 first element is 1. This will become to 0. Next, R3 is 6 minus 3 into R1 corresponding element is 2. This is 6 minus 6. This is also 0. Done. Next, last one is R3 minus 3 into R1. 10 minus 9, which will become to 1. See, while doing this operation, this is some two rows are equal are opposite in that case what we have to do just add or subtract those rows depends upon the sign then automatically you will get the zero row is it clear understand while doing 
rows operations these two rows are equal then what we have to do next see what is our condition below the principal diagonals it should be zero this is a principal diagonal see all the below the principal diagonals are zero now i got the upper triangular matrix but the thing is i need I, I need to convert into zero row for that these two rows are equal right then the next operation is r2 implies r2 minus r3 right sorry r3 uh, we'll do on r3 r3 minus r2 then what is the resultant matrix 1 2 3 as it is 0 0 1 if you um, subtract these two rows this is 0 and this is 0 1 minus 1 this is also 0 any more uh, operations are needed no just stop the method why because i got uh, the upper triangular matrix this is my upper triangular matrix and i got one zero row also okay now how to uh, what is the rank of the given matrix how many non zero rows here these two are the non zero rows of the given matrix if you consider this is matrix a therefore the given matrix rank is 2 okay this is a long method for short i'll tell how to remember the rank if you find the debt of this a if the determinant is equal to zero rank is less than order remember this point very important if the debt is a is not equal to zero then the rank is equal to order okay apply these two properties on the given matrix here first find the debt of this matrix what is the debt we know that that means 1 into a remove the corresponding row column a d this is what 20 7 3 is a 21 minus second element of remove the corresponding row column 10 2 is a 20 minus 21 just second this second this is sorry first row first element this is uh, first row first element 10 4 is a this is 40 beta 40 minus 42 then the next one is 10 2 is a 20 this is 21 plus 3 of remove the corresponding last column first row then 6 2 is a 12 minus 12 see check this is 0 first one this is your 20 minus 21 is minus 1 minus of 1 into minus 2 plus 2 this is what minus 2 finally the debt is 0 here what i am saying after finding the determinant the determinant is equal to 0 determinant is equal to 0 means rank is what less than order then what is the order of this, this matrix is, is 3 order is 3 by 3 means what i am saying the order is determinant of a is equal to 0 then the rank is less than 3 either it may be 2 or it may be 1 how to check the next one uh, how to confirm it whether it is 2 or 1 then after that um, consider one minor of this matrix now i am going to consider any minor either this or this okay 2 3 4 7 after that consider 2 by 2 minor then find the determinant of 2 by 2 7 2 is a 14 minus 12 then what is the what is the value here 2 this is not rank the thing is determinant is non zero determinant is non zero means rank is determinant is not equal to zero means non zero means rank is equal to order of this matrix therefore order is 2 is it clear like this you can find the rank by short and long method if you want more content see the description i already provided that uh, um, our playlist link okay all the very best like share comment compulsory